Okay. This is my first attempt at a little bit of a mini aquaponics system in my home. I've got some fish down there and some plants started and a grow light here. It's all being overseen by my green fairy, Spirit of the Absent. So I just built this very simple pine structure holding the grow light up under here. And this is just bolted down to an old coffee table that I happen to have. And so this 30 gallon aquarium is just set on the metal and bolted on both sides by this wood frame that holds not only the lights, but also some hooks for my system of oxygenation for the roots. So what I've got in my grow tray here, which I'm lifting out at this point and of the experiment twice a day in the morning and at night when I know I'm home. I lift these up, lift this up, and raise the level so that the roots are lifted out of the water and completely oxygenated. And there's some hydroponic lettuce I picked up at the grocery store. And some rosemary I picked up at the nursery, some cuttings, some little baby aloes off this larger aloe here when I took it out of the pot to get something in here. This is something I had. The cedar tree back here that's in pretty rough shape. It is pretty much died out after sitting in the pot. So that's part of this experiment. Uh, what now we're looking at a clone of a lime tree. A very old lime tree. Had a very small root ball was falling out of a little pot. But I've since transferred it to a netty pot and it's wrapped in sphagnum moss and it looks like even some of the roots are starting to come through already. And I've got just some cushy fleece around the base of the root system and the top is all sphagnum moss that I got out of the yard. So the aquarium was free. The light fixture was ten bucks for the fixture and another 12 or so for the light bulb. It's a full spectrum, but it has a lot of blue and red, I guess, which is good for foliage growth. Don't know that much about lights yet. This tree here, this little sapling, is in this nice little pot that I've filled with sphagnum moss. This is a clone off a 113 year old lemon tree. So hopefully, as part of the experience, we'll see that the lemon tree likes aquaponics. So rosemary, lettuce, two types of citrus, cedar, this is just some extra sphagnum moss for my next plants, um, rosemary, aloe, some spider plants that are actually coming out of this potted spider plant here sitting on the windowsill. This is not in the hydroponic system, nor is this money plant, but this is all by the window. So, so as I back up here, we'll look down at what's inside. And this is still a little murky, even though I've rinsed all these roots, it's still a little murky, but I've got uh, I've got things going on to fix that soon. Now you might be able to see over here is the tail of an eel that I just brought home about a half hour ago. It came from the bait store. And so it was very cheap and it's a cold water, fresh water eel that people buy to go fishing. And it was the tank was uh, 60 degrees, which is the same as mine, and I know that my pH is uh, safe for fish. I've had the water tested. So he's just kind of chilling over here. I didn't realize until I got him home, because they're not real particular there at the bait store, that he had a, he has a large gash on his throat. So something probably took a bite out of him. But... You know, if the water is good and they're tough, maybe he'll recover. We'll see. Part of the experiment. This is the central pump here. I've got, it's a uh, 350 gallons per hour submersible pond pump. And that's in the middle under this netting, fil filter netting, and then the rocks are keeping it all secure. So 
So that's just blowing a big force jet of water out here that's breaking surface tension and oxygenating water and filtering it as well. Next to it I have another submers submersible pond pump, a much smaller one that I'll probably run at night or when I'm going to shut this one down for different times. I have not plugged it in right now, but it's an option. And then you can see these fish. I ended up with ten of them. The guy was pretty nice. I asked for a half a dozen. He just threw ten in there. So it was all very cheap. The ten shiners here. Cold water fish. Pretty hardy guys, I would imagine. And uh, this eel all came home in this lovely bucket here for ten bucks from the bait store. So pretty cheap on all that. The pumps run, I think, for the halfway decent sized ones, starting like sixty-nine dollars. So you could potentially set this whole system up for less than a hundred dollars if you pick up a used tank. Uh, and then these the plastic trays and the neti pots that are up here, these are pretty cheap too. Some got them from a hydroponics store. So there's the eel. Now you can see him. He's up and about. And he's coming up to the top. I hope he doesn't try to get out. I'm going to have to put a little lip around the top so that he doesn't climb out. That's a ceramic frog back there that you're looking at. Just decoration. There's the gash on his throat. Now we can see it well. See, it's not, uh, it's not a pretty sight. It's a pretty significant looking wound. So we'll see how he does. Hopefully, uh, you can see he's pretty big. I'd say it's probably, mm, I want to say, 12 to 13, maybe 14 inches long. And then all the minnows back there. So oh, smile, you're on candy camera. They're pretty shiny when they turn a certain way, hence the name Shiners. Um, I suppose their fate in my aquarium is better than being bait. But they're just kind of relaxing. I had thrown a little piece of potato in there and it was down at the bottom and they nibbled it right up even though they've only been here for a little while so they're not really acclimated yet. But um, they seem pretty chill. They like to hang out in the group. They probably haven't settled in too much. I don't know if you can see the eel. Looks like he's stressing, but I really like it a lot. I hope that survives. It's just a very interesting creature. So this aquaponic system is supposed both visually enjoyable as well as I've got some snap peas soaking that I'm going to hopefully have growing up and around my whole frame. I might create a, a little bit of a twine, twine trellis twine trellis. It's kind of a, not a twine twister, but it feels like it. So here's my whole system. I'm backing up now. So you can see the whole thing. And um, it's enjoyable. In the middle of February here with cabin fever, I, I feel like I have a little summer, a little bit of a sunny nature refuge in my living room. This is a nice break from the February cold dark dr days outside right now. And hopefully soon I'll have some more. Hopefully I can, I've already eaten some of that lettuce. It's very good. Hopefully I'll be able to soon have some strawberries going and some snap peas and some, I'm going to start some more lettuce and some morning glories for decoration. And that's about all I'll probably be able to do on this little mini system. But this is just the start of my aquaponic experimentation. We'll check in later and see how this eel is doing. There's a lot of reflection on the glass. That's the other filter I have. It's just an aquarium filter that I have here going. Parts of two different old filters. Oh, look at the moss. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool moss. All right, over and out.